creating the you know database creating the database and next is called creating what table creating the table so this type of things we already did in the last class already we have done it now it is the time to see to go for another other operations we will go for it how to insert the data let me go to the mysql also here mysql database mysql database enter the password root so it's showing that how to see the database students all of you please how to show the databases mom just quickly how to see the databases show databases very good show databases show databases so you are having the databases like this right last class our database name is batch 6 batch batch 6 batch 6 is our database uh, how to enter into the database how to enter into the database guys yes please. come on quick i will use use user databases use databases use databases okay so you got user database is called what batch 6 batch 6 pm batch 6 pm okay then database change now you need to see what now you need to see what tables inside how to see the tables inside how to see the tables inside ma yeah quickly i need to know what is the database show tables show tables show tables okay show tables so here we have employee table AB. I want to see the records inside of it. What is that records? Select star from. Uh, tell me, employee. Select star from employee. See that there was no data at all. There was no data at all. D is in supply name and salary. So, shall we insert the data now? Shall we insert the data, dear students? Come on, ma. Shall we, shall we insert the data? Yes. Is my voice is breaking or clear, ma? Is my voice is breaking or clear? It's clear, no? Is it clear? okay so sometimes so little small small problem may be there i hope it is clear now yeah okay ma sometimes uh, we can't do anything else because in the network uh, right so maybe okay so i'll repeat the statements nothing to worry yeah let us start with uh, entering the data so shall we write how to insert the data can i take the Already we have written a code, how to insert the records inside the Oracle. Can I take that code, ma? Rather than writing again, can I take that code? Yes. What can I change there? What I can change there? Can you tell me? What should I change? If you say, I will take that code. Otherwise, I will write again. What I should change? Connection only. Very good. D. John, very good, ma? So I need to go for what? Only I need to go for what? Connection need to change. Then I'll go for what? Insert statement, same thing. Insert statement is same thing. Connection is same. Only connection URL I will change. Everything is same to same. Everything is same to same. Everything is same to same. right so coming to the point of it uh, 
coming to the next discussion let us take that code let us take that code now i am taking look at carefully python oracle so insert example insert example oracle insert example one i just want to take it i just want to take this code let's watch it now yeah sagar you please take care ma that uh, oracle because even i said already because during the installation of the oracle you must take care you must take care of that so please take care of that kind of things okay import this this is a oracle kind of thing i will just copy as it is i'll just copy as it is i will take a new code new code then there you see observe it there i am just saying my sql my sql i just want to say my sql insert example one only simple i'll just import i'll just import this part in, in, import that i'll just do something today i'll just uh, import my sql connector and the connection url only i will change it connection url only i will change it i'll bring this connection statement as this i'll bring this connection statement as this nothing else is difficult for you only this i will go on changing it so step number 2 this is connection step number 1 importing step number 2 connection changes cursor is same insert is same everything is same only thing is pass the correct values here i am going to take it 3 employee number 30 and then richi and then 4.4 insert into employee see batch 6 pm in the batch 6 pm only in the batch 6 pm only we have the tables employee employee contains employee number name and then salary only three columns are the three values you need to pass it number name and then salary this is a data query is same and then same to same nothing is there that's why once we learn one database other databases are very easy commit the database that is a step number five process that commit here commit present in connection object employee record so row dot cur row count cursor dot row count it is going to be the employee one record install one record inserted successfully verify so here i will go for here i will go for taking this type of thing taking this type of thing instead of this i will take this is a oracle related part this is called mysql related exception so i hope uh, you felt very easy you felt very easy any difficulty ma yes students can i get the conclusion is it easy or difficult yes please all of you must answer me so it is dead easy for you nothing is difficult for you let me save this let me save this guys let us go to the my place our place that is mysql our database save it yeah come on to the point here select star from once again i'll say employee no records are there go to the place of oracle uh, our uh, mysql command prompt that is g colon cd kvr python 6 pm 6 pm hmm? what happens okay then python mysql here yeah come on to the point py our file name see that carefully here one employee record inserted successfully verify one employee record inserted successfully verify let's go let's go there mysql say select star from you see that one data is inserted 30 employee number 30 employee name richi salary is called 4.4 that is one record is inserted one record is inserted now i want to go for next record second record i want to insert it second record dynamically i want to insert it so do you know how to insert the record dynamically you have seen in oracle in while loop huh? infinite while loop have you remembered that yes students that only we will be taking that so instead of that you see i'll be taking that and uh, you already know 
and I need not to write the same thing again, but I will show all of them to you because MySQL also need to take in your place anything, whatever is coming, you must be ready to answer such type of things. So I'm taking here MySQL, MySQL insert example two. I will take the thing like what, you know, import statement I will take, import statement I will take as usual. As usual, I will take import statement. Yes, this connection part I will be changing regularly. So connection part I will changing regularly. Yes, I'll just take it as it is, I will pause it. Yes, done. Everything is finished. Connection, cursor object, while true, enter employee number, employee name, salary. This is not necessary. Designation is not necessary. Design the query and execute. Insert into employee. Last part, not necessary. Last part is not necessary. Last part. Percentage D, percentage S, percentage F. Percentage F. Right? Percent of I will remove the last part of it. Last part of it I will remove. Yeah. Last part of it I will remove. Insert into employee values, percentage D, percentage S, percentage F, employee number of or this we can do like this and you already well aware of that i need not write that bigger story right insert into that okay once that is done inserted successfully row count so do you want to insert another record if any exception is there problem in that you will be getting this dot exit and you are getting across this part so anything is there you will come across that kind of part okay students now, except, except is also, yeah, except also we need to do it. You need to do the change in the SQL also. Yes. So, except block also we need to do the change. Rest of them is simple. Let us save this code. Let us save this code. Easy for you to understand. Out of that, yes, please look at that. PY, PY, yes, see that, enter employee number. 10, row sum, right, salary, something like 4.6, one record, one record inserted successfully. Do you want to insert another record? Yes, another record, enter employee number 20. Next is called what you know, ghostly, right, something like, you know, 7.8. Do you want to insert another record? Yes. Next is called employee number 40. Employee number 40, employee name is called Jim, so Jim, and say 2.2, employee record is inserted. Yes, now see, be careful students, something like, uh, something like, you know, something like, you know, 50, and there, next is called what, you know, Angunian, Hangunian, H-U-N, H-U-N, something like 3.4, like this, say no, and observe this. This is done. Okay, check it out once. Check it out once. Select star from. You got this many. Five rows are there. Now, once again, you please look at ma. Do employee number 10 I am saying. Already 10 was there. Already 10 was there. Now I am saying 10. Name is called some KVR. Name is called some ABC. Name is called ABC. 2.5. I said. See that problem. Problem in MySQL database. Problem in MySQL database. Duplicate entry 10 for key employee is a primary key, not possible. Are you able to understand me? Are you able to understand me, students? Come on, students, are you there? Are you understanding me, ma? Yes. Why it is not inserting 10? Why it is not inserting 10? Because we applied primary key. We, we applied what? Primary key we applied. That's why it is not going to, it is not going to allow. Okay. Right. Oh, keys already there. Already these keys are there. That's why it is not allowed. Okay. That's why exception is coming now. Since exception is coming, it is going out of it. Any database exception is coming, 
it is coming out of it okay students yeah so i hope uh, this you are getting into the consideration okay right now i am going to this is nothing but inserting multiple records right do you know how to delete the record do you know how to delete the record yes students deleting the record can anybody can answer my question deleting the record so i want to know about uh, deleting the record what is the query name what is the query name you are using query deleting the query ma not uh, deleting i am asking about the delete not uh, the another kind of thing only deleting i am asking so don't go for any other things deleting i am asking yes deleting yes students deleting part i am asking delete from employee how many how many syntaxes are there how many syntaxes are there my dear students two syntaxes are available one syntax is what one syntax is just to delete the total records deleting a particular record ram ram anuj drop is for what ma drop is for what i told drop is to remove the table drop is to remove the table so don't go for drop is for that i am not dropping the table i am removing the record so already we had a discussion in our previous sessions so please uh, be 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 understandable that kind of thing you see in this area in our place executing ddl statements dml statements already we had a discussion okay so the same thing you can you can place it in this line also so my sql also you have this line of course i need not to put this because same type of story will be with this also okay see that so dml statements all these things insert delete update inserting already done you have seen the same example delete also delete also see delete from table name delete from table name with the condition so already we this example has done and the same example even i will take it here even that example i can take so nothing is difficult in today's session it's a dead easy part of what we had so let me take we will take delete example i will take delete example one i'll just open it i'll just open it and i'll take as it is and i will take it and i will go for this part yes new python so say this done so just paste it and then change the required details change your required details one is called import statements you need to replace it connection statement i need to replace it other than that nothing is there connection statement you replace it connection statements you replace it other than that we need not to worry about anything else right done right step number 1 step number 2 step number 3 accept the employee number and then delete from employee where employee number is equal to percentage d percent of emp and o connection dot commit cur cur uh, cursor object dot row count greater than 0 current object dot row count greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 that means it is deleted already you know the row count row count is nothing but an attribute in uh, cursor which will determine how many number of records are uh, available and then deleted successfully if it is not deleted row count is 0 0 greater than 0 is false employee number does not exist do you want to delete another record i am giving this type of thing and as usual exception is same The exception is same and you can add one new new thing also suppose if anything you are entering the number see i'm entering the number which is not a numeric type which exception will come which which exception will come now hmm? value error will come right or not which error will come value error will come you can handle that also okay let me let me see i will add that word mysql delete example 
MySQL delete example one dot py. So let's start here. Let us start here. Go to MySQL. Say delete example one. Yes, come on, coming to this point. Execute py asking my delete example one. I say this is my data. This is my data. What we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm saying that uh, something like a hundred, hundred. So and hundred is not there. Hundred does not exist. Hundred ABC. I am saying it is giving simply value except. Okay, yes, I am saying hundred ABC. You say it is saying that the value error, value value error. See that? Say that the number is called what? Hundred ABC. It is going to give you value error. Value error means it is not invalid number. So if you want, you can handle that exception here itself. So that already you are well, well familiar with it. I need not to take care about that. Now I'm saying that I'm writing that I'll write, I will take care of that. I'm writing here. I will take, what is it here? I'm writing. If you want, you can write before that, after the law, after that, and before that, anything you can take it, not an issue. We can take care of that. So I'm writing, I'm writing. What is it? Except, except I'm writing. What is it? Value error. So simple today, right? Don't enter. Don't don't enter. You know, ah, uh, STRs, STRs, symbols, symbols, and next is called what? Special symbols. That is uh, alpha numerics, alpha numerics, alpha numerics, right? Now, now you execute that part. Now see carefully. Enter. Now see uh, something like this. See that. Don't enter the STRs and all those things. Enter employee number. I say something like 10, 10, 10. What is the 10 number here? Row sum. That is removed. See that 10. One record deleted successfully. One record deleted successfully. You check it out immediately there. Select star from employee. 10 was not there. 10 was not there. You can, you can enter yes, sir. I can say 40. I can say 50. 50 I can enter. So deleted. Deleted. You can check it out from this place. 50 was removed. You can just go back. No. I can just come out of it. This is the way how you can write this. Easy or difficult? Is it easy or difficult? Dead easy. Not at all a difficult. So... Is your case study is going on? Is your case study is going on, my dear students? Is your case study is going on? Yes. Yeah, please do that and try to take care of it. Try to take care of it. All of you take care of this kind of things. Yeah. Next, I will go for next. I will go for one more kind of thing. So this is deleting this. Next, uh, I'll go for one more kind of approach. For the next one, I'll go for update. Update. I will take it. Update part. I will explain. Shall we go for update? Which which query will use? Which query we will use? Update statement, we will use it. Update statement, we will use it. Hmm? Yes. Update statement, I will use it. So let's go to that. Let's go back. So I'll take it. Update related thing. Update example, I'll just open it. Yes, open it. Take care of this. Then you see. Then I'll go for the new Python program. Then you take care of this. Observe now. So Oracle update. So I will take it as MySQL. MySQL update example one. Sys. 
step number one and this i will take care this type of import statement import statement yes i'll take care of that fine connection statement only everything you are understanding okay ma good you will do it so everything is simple you will take this connection object yes then cursor object is same enter employee number for updating other details enter the salary of an employee that's it only salary i want to update it only salary i want to update it in this case if you want in this case i will update it okay so design the query design the query update employee sal is equal to and i need not write this designation is equal to where employee number is equal to percentage d where update is equal to percentage of sal only i will take only sal and i'll take this employee number also percent of sal of emp and o i will take it and percentage of the first one and as emp and o is for first percentage d and commit the database and process it updated or not updated row count as usual done so employee record does not exist employee record does not exist do you want to update another record yes or no if you know you are going for that if you want you can take employee number this type of logic also you can take it try employee number employee number is there na if you want you can give it that exception name what is that exception name last last program we have written value error except i am writing i am writing except i am writing here except what is that exception mark value error yes value error i am taking value error so i will take that same statement like previous same statement like previous this statement i am writing so in mysql in a very batch which is simple and easy because already we had a discussion about easiest part of it oracle we spend ample of time and this is very simple that means once you know one database other database is dead easy so this is updating the record updating the record so let's start about this and save this save this mysql updated dot py okay so execute this coming to this point yes py py update example 1 enter the employee number for updating the other details so see this 20 20 30 and then 40 now take it as 40 i will give you here let's go for 40 40 40 enter the salary for updating 5.5 see one record updated successfully check it out once select star from employee see that 40 gym 5.5 we got it 40 gym 5.5 i got it okay next you go for yes one more record i want to enter the employee number so 100 i am entering which is not there actually see that employee record does not exist yes i will say so the number is called what 30 30 30 you update it 30 and say something like 6.2 6.2 it is updated and see that select star from 6.2 updated and then next what say no so we we'll come out of that this is called updating i hope students did you understand what i am talking ma yes so pdbc with a pdbc is it easy or difficult pdbc is it easy or difficult easy sir nothing is difficult this is what uh, i am expecting from all of you should be rememberable should be rememberable i hope you will remember this type of concept okay students fine now this is about this is about hmm? yes ma jafar take care of about that ma install that pi 
pip install mysql hyphen connector hyphen you write uh, underscore you write python hyphen python like yesterday we used na uh, like that you try to yesterday we used uh, pip pip install install mysql hyphen hyphen i think connector hyphen python you use it you use that one this one you install it okay this part you install it fine so this is about mysql with the python yesterday we are supposed to execute we used to take care but it has taken some errors and all those things so these programs you try to execute perfectly and uh, case study is there now with you you try to complete that case study so shall i introduce a small small example today shall i introduce a small concept today yes so now i am going to introduce a small concept actually that is a concept these days we are coming across generator i want to introduce small concept because when we find some time in the middle of the topic big topic is completed some time is left out that the time i want to utilize it okay so now i want to introduce a small concept some some 30 minutes or some 40 minutes topic i want to introduce so what is my topic with this pdbc with oracle pdbc with mysql is over okay so let us start with the generators now i am going to enter into let us close all this stuff now i am entering into the generators next topic is generators generators i will use generators easy easy for you let's start students what is generator what is a generator i just want to use it what is a generator that is what i want to use it simple ma let us start the generators what is a generator strictly speaking my dear students come on to the sql prompt let us coming to the python command prompt yeah coming to the python command prompt yeah one minute i'll come to the python command prompt yeah now see now see what is meant by generator just the meaning of english you tell me already generator you know you know generators just time that's why we are able to understand easily tell me what is a generator english meaning you tell me which will hmm if you say i just want to which if you say i want to listen generator is a value which will generate some list of values which will generate some list of values right or not which will generate some list of values uh, which function you use to generate it which function we use to generate it just may know which function used to generate some list of values hmm? not saying anything others are not saying anything so must say if you say i will re, i will just want to listen so dear students please understand it is going to generate so function called range function range function yeah random function is there random function is there so which will generate random values random function range function also there so we have seen randint is there random is there rand range is there and a range function is also there random random module if you take it randint and rand range randint and rand range will generate the integer values but our values are called what our our range function will generate only integers random random which will generate float values also it can generate float values also it can generate so today's concept i want to generate my own thing look at that for i in range of for i in range of 1 comma 11 1 comma 11 i am saying that 
of i i am using i which will generate 1 to 10 which will generate 1 to 10 similarly i want to generate like this suppose i am asking kvr range kvr range kvr range now i am asking now i am asking print of i you will get error you will get error kvr range is not defined in place of range i want to generate my own my own function range of is a function i want to generate my own function did you understand what i am trying to say did you understand what i am trying to say yes my students all of you yes so my function my my function also should work like a range my function should also work like a range so how i can use it how i can use it i will go for a particular concept called generator simple ma a generator is a normal function only now i am writing small slowly i will introduce after finishing now you will say sir dead easy you will say a generator is a normal function normal function only it is like a normal function which will generate which will if this is a regularly asking question in the interviews nowadays nothing is there very simple a generator is a normal function which will generate which will generate some sequence of values some sequence of values some sequence of some sequence of values some sequence of values or numbers some sequence of numbers based on based on user choice based on user choice based on user choice by containing by containing now i'm writing some special keyword today by containing yield keyword by containing yield keyword if a function if a function is containing written statement that is a normal state normal function if a function is containing yield keyword that is acting as a generator keep in mind always is a blind rule from today onwards if a if a if a sub program contains function is nothing but a sub program if a sub program contains written statement that is simply called as function if a function is containing yield keyword that is known as what a generator a generator is a normal function which will generate some sequence of values or numbers based on based on user choice by containing yield keyword by containing which keyword yield keyword by containing yield keyword a generator is a normal function which will generate some sequence of values or numbers based on user choice by containing yield keyword what is the purpose of this yield keyword i am just writing is a small small uh, 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 concept here the purpose of the purpose of yield the purpose of yield keyword is that the purpose of yield keyword or some people will call it as a statement some people will call it as a statement is that is that it returns it returns it returns the sequence of values it returns sequence sequence of values sequence of values from the from the function from the function from the function until until condition becomes when i write the code you will understand until condition becomes until condition becomes false until condition becomes false yes ma mono exactly exactly it will become that it depends on how you plan your logic it depends on how you plan your logic it depends on how you plan your logics fine let me talk about let me talk about what i'm saying sequence uh, the purpose of yield keyword or statement is that it returns a sequence of values from the function until condition becomes false so i've taken one example now directly take it let me take one syntax first let me take one syntax 
Now I'm taking syntax. What is the syntax here? Very, very simple. What is that syntax? DEF function name, function, function name. Yes, list of, list of formal params, list of formal params, formal params if any. Yes, there I will write it. There I will write it. Some statements, some statements. If oh, definitely certain condition will be there, definitely certain condition will be there. I will say some block of statements may be there. Some block of statements may be there. Depends on my condition. I will say yield. Some value will be returned. Some value will be returned. We will take care of that. We will take care of that. What is the meaning of it? Yes. This is called what you know. This is called what you know. Function. Syntax for generating function. Now I would like to go for the example. What is it? Define. Define the generator. Define the generator. Generator. Which which generates which generates which generates one to n 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 generally how do you write this how do you write this now for i in range of one comma n plus one am I correct it generates one one i in 1 to n plus 1. So it will generate that many. So, but I want to go for my own generator. Generator. How do you define, sir? Very, very simple, sir. Come on. DEF, DEF, KVR range, KVR range, or KVR generator. No problem, whatever you like it. KVR range. Take it as n. n is a value coming from, n is a value coming from main program. N is the value coming from main program. Please be careful, ma. N is the value coming from main program. Okay. Then what should I do? I should write a logic. I should write a logic. How do I write a logic? There I need to write. Actually, this concept is not necessary. But some, some of the times you may be using it because actually range function is there happily for you. You can use it. I is equal to 1. I is equal to 1. Okay. I will write it. What is it? I less than. I, I less than. See my logic form. I less than n. I less than n. Okay. Now, I will say here only y i e l d. I yield y. What is the value of i? What is the value of i? 1. Once you say yield, once you say yield, the value of i will be returned to the main program. Here I will write one main program. Let me write one main program. Let me write one main program here. What is that main program? There I am writing something like this. As we are creating range object, range, range object. What is the range object? We are creating like this range of 1 comma n. 1 comma n. So 1 comma n means range object is created. How do you write it there? For i in r, for i in r, for i in r of what? Print of i. Print of i. Like that. Today I will write it what? Today I will write what? KVR range. KVR range. Pass the n value. Pass the n value. Pass the n value. What is the n for example? 10. For example, 10, 10, what is happening? N is a 10, I am passing 10. Once you pass 10, I that N is passing 10 here. I start from 1, 1 less than 10, yield I, that I value will be coming and placing into R, where R is receiving that value, 1 is receiving. Next, I will write what? I is equal to I plus 1, I plus 1, mono. Increment, pre-increment, post-increment value is not there. Then it will go to the while loop again. Yield i, which value will be returned? Again, 2 will be returned. Next, i is equal to i plus 1, 3. 3 less than 10. Again, yield 3. 3 will be returned. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like that, it will be going on coming. Is it understandable, students? Are you following me? 
So I will write what here? I is equal to what? I plus 1. I is equal to I plus 1. So what is your opinion about that? 1 to 10 numbers are coming. I is equal to 1. 1 to n numbers. 1 to n numbers. In this case, 1 to n you want is equal to you write it. 1 to n less than or equal to n. So yield statement is what? You see, the purpose of yield statement is that it returns a sequence of values from the function until condition becomes false. Once this condition is false, it is coming out of the program. Am I correct? This KVR range is called one type of generator. This type of function is called one type of generator. Shall I define? Shall I go to the program? Main program. How I will define? For i in r. For i in r. Print of i. Print of i. For i in r. Print of i. I hope you are understanding me. I hope you are understanding me what I am talking here. Is it okay, students? Is it understandable, ma? Yes. So, coming to the point back, it is so easy to understand it. Not at all difficult. Not at all difficult. So, you are getting me what I am interested to explain here. Print of I value. What are the values are printed, ma? What are the values are printed? One to ten is printed. Is it not working like our range function? Is it not working like our range function? Yes, are simple, very very simple. So, what is the generator? What is the difference between? How do you recognize it is a generator function or normal function? How do you generate whether it is? How do you decide whether it is a generator or a function? If a function name, if a function is containing generator uh, yield keyword, that is known as what? A generator is, is a normal function which will generate some sequence of values, numbers based on user choice by containing yield, yield keyword. Yield, yield keyword. The purpose of yield keyword is just to, to return the sequence of values. Right? Huh? Yield. Let me write the same logic there. Let me write the same logic here. Yes. Coming to this Python. I will write it. So, generator example 1.py. Yes, I will take def. Def, please uh, carefully understand, ma. Def. So, something like, you know, KVR range. KVR range. So, I will take it as KVR range of, of n. I will write it. Yes. Yes, ma, that is what I am saying it. D John. Actually, range function is more than enough. So, this is a old concept. People are uh, uh, people are asking sometimes. That's why I am just saying to you. And you should not say in the last sir, generator, you should not. You did not explain. That's why I am giving it. Range function is there. Na? I happily, I will use range function. Why should I define my own thing? Let us follow that. Yan, I will use it. Yes, yeah, I will use it. Yes, tell me. I is equal to 1. While I less than or equal to n. I less than or equal to n. Hmm? Yield I. I say I is equal to I plus 1. I is equal to I plus 1. I less than or equal to n. Yield I. I is equal to I plus 1. Finished. Coming to the main program. Coming to the main program. I am taking main program. Very simple. There what I am doing. Something like R is equal to. Or R is equal to some, some object you take it. Something like KO. KO is equal to. KO is equal to. KVR. KVR. Range. KV range. Of what? Something 10 I am passing for example. 10 I am passing. If you print KV. If you print KO, it will not print. It will not print that values. It will print memory address. Memory address. So let us execute once and then understand this part. So let's go to that. I'll create a place. So that is generator. Generator. Inside of it, I'll save my logic. 
yes gen example 1.py coming out of that say cd generator here there i will say py generate example 1.py see that generator object kvr range memory address is coming memory memory address is coming so that that part i will i will from that generator object i want to retrieve the data how do you retrieve the data you tell me tell me now for i in where ko for i in ko print of what i print of i print of what i print of i hmm. what is happening that what is happening tell me now i will say k of i now you see what are the values are coming 1 to 10 numbers are coming there see carefully 1 to 10 numbers are coming are you able to understand me are you able to understand me 1 to 10 numbers are coming okay see that now if you want this n value to be accepted from keyboard you can get it what is that keyword if uh, sorry get the number get the number what is it n is equal to int of int of input of input of enter enter a value enter a value enter a value enter a value yes that if you see if n less than or equal to zero n less than or equal to zero if that is the case if that is the case say invalid input print of what invalid input invalid input say is invalid input invalid input is invalid input else you call this else part you say this entire line you take it okay say exact execute now see that enter the value so 12 12 numbers are coming enter the value something like minus 2 invalid input format i did not write on huh? hmm? format dot format of n you say dot format of n you say yes now you see this enter the value say minus 2 you are getting minus 2 is invalid input if you say 0 it is invalid input you see now last and final it is 20 20 20 numbers are coming here Yes, ma, I told you, Milanda, Milanda is asking execution flow. Simple, ma, simple. First, if statement you already know, else. Value of n is called what? 20. Milanda, please follow, ma. 20. What is this 20? 20 will go to this n. 20 will go to this n. n is called 20. How the while loop? i is 1. 1 less than or equal to 20, it is true. Already explained the flow also keep it please uh, see i value i value is what a one one will be kept into this ko ko is containing internally called what a one will be there ko ko is containing one again it will go to the function back after returning it will go after if it come back i is equal to i plus one that is called a two two again it will go to the while loop two less than or equal to n yield yield two again two will come here again two will come again it will go to i is equal to i plus one condition again true so again and again value is returning again and again value is returning so how many times multiple times miland are you understanding ma miland are you understanding yes ma amitabh that only i'm saying ma this is not necessary this is not necessary to write our own code if anybody ask you tomorrow can you write any code which works like a range function? That is nothing but a generator function we can use. Amitabh, are you getting? Can you can anybody ask you? If anybody ask you tomorrow, can you write your own range function? So sometimes it is useful. Are you able to follow? Yeah. Okay. Now this is called a range function is coming. Suppose I want to go for lower bound and upper bound. Lower bound and upper bound. Are you getting my dear students upper bound and lower bound? I want to display the values from 10 to 20, 30 to 40, 100 to 200. 
300 to 400, like that I want to generate. That time I will go for what? Another kind of generator example. Shall we start? Yeah. Let us start. Let us start this example once again. See, my dear students, uh, let us generate an example to gen2, gen2.py, gen2.py. Yeah, please make it uh, careful, all of you. Yeah, gen2.py. Hmm. Tell me, what should I do? DEF, DEF. Uh, what should I do? Hmm? What should I do? KVR range, KVR range, KVR range of LB, comma, UB, LB, comma, UB, UB. Two parameters I am taking. LB and UB are coming from where? LB and UB are coming from where? Main program. Yeah. Coming to that. UB is ready. LB is ready, UB is ready, LB is ready. Come on, assume that uh, my uh, U, LB, LB is called what, 10 and UB is called 20, 20. So this, uh, for, for a minute I will say pass, for a minute I will say pass. Let me go for the main program. Main program I am asking. What is the main program you see, ma? All of you carefully try to understand. What is the main program here? Accept and low, uh, lower bound and upper bound. In, uh, I will take uh, something like this. What is it? Printer, printer, enter. See, this is another style I am using today. Enter, begin, begin, and end value. Begin, end value, and begin values. Yeah, take it. Begin value is equal to, I will write it int of input of like this yes end value also i will take it end value also i will take it ev yeah if if uh, what is happening now what is happening please take care about it carefully bv bv if a beginning value greater than or equal to ending value i should say it is invalid input print I should consider this type of logic also. So, beginning value, invalid range, invalid range, invalid range, you must enter, you must enter, you must enter, begin, beginning value, you must enter. What is that value? Begin value must less than, must be less than, must be less than end value. Okay, right, done. Else, else part I am taking, else part. What should I do in else part? You call that function. KO is equal to, uh, what is this now? KVR range of value you enter. BV comma, BV comma, EV. Right, you enter like this. BV comma, like this you enter. Fine, students. So simple, so simple. Yeah, so BV and end, uh, uh, range ending, ending value are entering. Next after that, what I will do? Calling. Okay, up to that, be, be safe. Let me go to the logic part. Let me go to the logic part. Here, let me go. Uh, there, I will do what? Remove this pass. Assume that they enter 10, 20. What I will do? While, always, sequence of values, na? LB less than UB. LB less than or equal to UB. LB less than or equal to UB. Right or not? Here you take only greater than you take it. If this is a case, invalid range you say. If uh, this thing, you go for it. Yeah. Come on. What should I yield it? Y-I-E-L-D. Yield what? LB. LB, LB. LB is equal to what? LB plus 1. LB plus 1. LB plus 1. That's it. Finished. So, main program, KO, range. Now, I need to go for this. I hope you are understanding. KO. So, now I want to print the data. KO range, I want to print it. How do you print the data? Yes, 
ఫస్ట్ అప్రోచ్ ఐ విల్ యూజ్ ఫస్ట్ అప్రోచ్ కేర్ఫుల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ మా ప్రింట్ ప్రింట్ రేంజ్ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ వాల్యూస్ ఫస్ట్ అప్రోచ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్ప్లే ఫర్ యూ ప్రింట్ ఫర్ ఏ మినిట్ బికాస్ టూ అప్రోచెస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు షో యూ టుడే సమ్ ఫార్టీ యా సో ఐ విల్ టేక్ జస్ట్ వాచ్ ఇట్ ఫార్ వాల్యూ ఇన్ కేవో ఎస్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ఐ విల్ ప్రింట్ ఐ విల్ ప్రింట్ హౌ డూ యూ ప్రింట్ ఎస్ ఐ విల్ సే దిస్ ప్రింట్ డాట్ ఫార్మాట్ ఆఫ్ వాల్ వాల్ కమా ఎండ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు సమ్ స్పేస్ ఎండ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు సమ్ స్పేస్ రైట్ ఎల్స్ ఐ సే దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఐ విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ this statement i will write it see this now go there print n is equal to this one gen example 2 so go to the location of it save this example generator example 2 yes here generator example 2 come out of that py 2.py enter the begin value 1020 see the values called what 1020 etc and this line also i need to bring down what i do here i will write one print statement after that one print statement after this yes now see what happens print okay you see i will write print of done 1020 so i got the data i say 5 and 10 5 to 10 if i say 10 and 5 you will get this you will get this be careful next i will say minus 5 and 6 minus 5 and 6 so you got see that in the beginning we did one assignment also minus 5 to minus six, uh, minus 5 to 6 i hope you are following me are you following students yeah next approach i want to tell you next next approach i want to tell you look at that this is called one approach there is one more approach is also there my dear students what is that next approach is something like this just to watch it range of values this is called some line some line i am giving next approach i am going to print it of course you see right yeah next concept is something like this what i am going to do is i want to print it there is one function is there what is that function here when you are taking this thing you see observe it what is my point print of what is my object here ko ko there is a function called next all of you okay uh, instead of writing in the same place i just take this code ma as a next example i will show you better instead of mixing everything in one place i'll just go for next line so there i am taking kvr generator example 3 3 begin end value same i want to print this data i want to print this data okay this part i will take off take it off yeah this one i will print it see print off there is one function is there gen there is one function is there there is a next function is there next 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 of ko the function called next will print the first value of ko next function will print the first value of ko just observe it observe it gen example 3 gen example 3 yes out of that py gen example 3.py 10 and 15 see that what is the first value coming 10 next next function is printing the value another i am writing another another i am writing another one i am writing 
what is the next value printed if my values are if my values are 10 and 15 what is the first value printed there what is the first value printed there 10 what is the next value printed there 11 just understand 10 11 10 and 15 you say 10 11 is printed like that i will print i will print two more two more i will print it 12 this is called 12 this is called 13 13 just to see 10 and then 15 you see what is printed 10 11 12 13 is printed you say next one more you write it one more you write it now you say 14 you say 14 you say 14 14 10 and 15 you say 10 to 10 11 12 13 14 14 now last and finally you write it last and finally you write it of 15 i am writing 15 yeah look at that 10 15 i said 10 to 15 is printed so i called it next 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 is printed that means next is acting like a file pointer next is a function which is retrieving first value second value third value fourth value fifth value like that La one more time i am writing next mark see what is an exception is coming what is an exception is coming so next function is like what printing the next 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 value when it comes to the last do you have any value there do you have any value there we don't have any value that you will get an exception that exception name is stop iteration stop iteration first value iterate to second value iterate to third value fourth value fifth value sixth value it is iterated for all next ko next ko it is going to print this type of value py you see py you see the answer 10 and 15 you will get exception okay 0 to 15 no problem okay by mistake i entered that yes no problem see that 10 and 15 you see that what is the next exception is coming stop iteration please keep in mind if i have if i have i will enter here so run this once again 10 and then 30 10 and 30 it is printing only six values it is not printing what rest of the values so what you will do what you will do can anybody can tell me the logic while yes very good true while true you know this logic better than me true while true say what print of yes dear students tell me next next of ko uh, ko uh, next next is equal to end is equal to some space i am giving some space i am giving some space printed okay see see now you see enter the value 10 20 you enter 20 values are printed last exception is coming this exception is coming see that see that it is printing 10 20 10 20 is printed but next after that exception came stop iteration so like in pickling and unpickling we got a uof error did you remember how we handled there that same logic i will use try try i say except uh, what is my exception name stop iteration happy once we know the logic stop iteration print of just to say print of bring the cursor down and say end of it what is my line you just print that line happy why you simple thing this is very simple happy now you say yes 10 20 you see what happens what happens ma end is equal to try off okay break once you say that you break it you break it yeah you break it yes enough say that 10 and then 20 you see that range of values 10 20 you say that 5 to 10 5 to 10 only happy are able to follow is this logic is clear see that range of values everything is so perfect printing that
it is giving you the result. So easy or difficult? Huh? Is it easy or difficult? So easy. Nothing is difficult. Dead easy this is. This is a mechanism of, this is a mechanism of generator. Right? Fine. So next, next, this is about generator. Like that, there is one more concept is there. Decorator is there. That I will introduce in further class whenever I find some time. So, iterate, generator, iterator, decorator. Some concepts are there that we will discuss in the further classes. Okay, now? So, right now, don't worry about that. So, is it understandable, students? See, this is a one of the approach. One of the approach. This is called one approach. This is called one approach. Normal, using for loop and all. This is a normal approach. And this is by using what? Another approach, by using next function, generalized function next. So we use this kind of things. So I hope you people understand what is the meaning of what? Generator. So generator is nothing but what? It's a normal function which will generate what? Some sequence of values. Some sequence of values, numbers, based on the user choice like this. Can you do with the step also? Can you do with the step? Can you do with the step? Yes, sir. Step value also you can pass it. That time I will take two parameters, three parameters. Instead of saying LB is equal to LB plus one, I can say what? Uh, what I can do here? Step I can say. Step plus two now, plus three now. Step also I can go for it. Whatever the value you are mentioning, that step will come. Okay? Yes, ma, Amitabh. That is my tomorrow's class. That is the STR part two I will discuss. STR part two I will discuss tomorrow class. So, dear students, STR part two, do you know? In beginning days, I told you. STR part one, STR part two. Did you remember that? Yes. Fine, fine. So, next term, look at, look at the action plan now. Look at the action plan, what we are going to do. Tomorrow, I will introduce, tomorrow, I will introduce STR part two, part two. Because tomorrow is Saturday, na? because if I start tomorrow part two, that is Saturday class, it will be over. Saturday, that will be over. Monday, Monday, I will start, I will start NumPy and Pandas. NumPy and Pandas, I will start. Be careful, NumPy and Pandas. So next week, NumPy and Pandas will be continued. This is from where? This is from where? Monday. Yes, ma, whoops feature. After that, I will introduce whoops features. I will introduce whoops. Next topics, next topics. Look at one, sir. Next topics after that. Monday onwards, that is NumPy and Pandas. Please look at that. Next topic, whoops. After that, regular expressions. Regular, regular expressions after that. Okay. After that, I will introduce multi-threading. Multi-threading. Because these are all additional topics I am teaching. Network programming last. Network programming last. These are the topics which I need to talk. Monday, I will talk about, I will talk about this thing. And web scrapping and all those things. Yes, ma, Lakshmi. Yes, ma. Happy birthday for you, Lakshmi. From the bottom of my heart, I'll pray the God to give you good health and good prosperous, good subject. You will be getting it. Happy birthday. Many happy returns of the day. So, Lakshmi, all of you wish one of our student birthday. Please wish all of you. Right. Right, ma. Yes. Next, uh, yes. My dear students, this topic I will be taking. So next month 15th, next month 15th or 20th, next month 15th to 20th, our, our uh, course will be over. Our course will be over. See, these are all extra topics, multi-threading, network programming. These are all I'm going to talk about it. Okay, na? between next month, next month, 
15 to 20, December 15 to 20, our batch will be over. Okay. So, coming to the point of it, next we are going to, yes, full stack batch is concerned. Please, I they will plan for next 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 course. They will plan. They will link. They will link. Yeah. Next data science will start. Ma, data science will start next. So they will be linking to you the batch. Okay. Right. So shall I stop now? Shall I stop now? This is an action plan of ours. Tomorrow, STR part two. Don't miss it at all. It's a very very important topic for you. Right. Thank you. Good day. All the best.